Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so have that down day, but get straight back up again. It's really, really important that you do that. And from my own experience, if you don't act quickly when you're feeling down and you're feeling low and everything feels as though that it's all caving in on you, it makes the process longer. It really, really does. Now, from my heart to yours, there is always somebody out there to help. OK, it might not always be necessarily clear who you can turn to in that moment, but there are people out there who want to help, want to listen. They want to get you feeling better and much more like yourself. Lately, I've been feeling really, really down and very much rock bottom, to be quite honest with you. Without going into it in too much detail, a promise was made within my career and I took a leap of faith and it turned out to be that somebody else thought that they would help somebody else and I fell into a trap. But of course, in order for that person above me to move, I fell into a trap. And unfortunately, it's really sent my mood spiralling to a very, very dark and horrible place that somebody could actually even do that to me. I really thought that in the organisation I work in that that the people who I worked with are honest and truthful. And it just goes to show that sometimes everything which is said to us, we shouldn't always take it face value. Sadly, in this life, we have to be like that. But you know what? I'm very, very believing and very, very honest and open. And I try to see the good in everybody. And I'm not going to change that. But I think one thing going ahead and going forward is I'm going to try not to be so hard on myself because it wasn't necessarily my, my fault. Yes, I wish I would have asked some more questions, but for me being a good person, for me trying to help somebody else, but then going on the promise that it was actually going to be improving my career, it's landed me in a place mentally, emotionally, where I'm finding it a struggle. I really, really am. So it's important to have that down day, but it's really important to get back up again. You know the whole motto, dust yourself off, go again. Now, believe you me, I know more than most, it's not always easy to do that. But it's important that you do because it keeps you healthy. It keeps you mentally stimulated. And to be quite honest, all of that aside, it keeps you being you and just away from that slippery slope. Because believe you me, when you hit that slope, and you're feeling as though that there's nothing else in this world for you and you're cascading to a point where you feel as though you're in deep darkness and everything is falling in on you, that's a horrible, horrible place to be. And it's much more difficult to get yourself out of that depth of hole than what it is when you just take a trip or a tumble and you have a dark day. I know I'm speaking very probably philosophical and very hypothetical there, but I'm talking from experience that yes, it is rubbish what you're going through right now, and yes, it's a real damn rotten thing that somebody's done to you. But you'll get back up from this. You're the better person. You're the person what's going to rise from this. That's what I'm telling myself. And you know, whatever happened yesterday is gone, forgotten about. Hopefully you'll have good memories from it. But if you haven't, don't worry. Because we've got the blessing of being able to go again today. And hopefully tomorrow. And hopefully the day after. You concentrate on being you. That's what I'm telling myself. Concentrate on being all the good you are. Keep working hard. Have that dark time. Have that moment where you need to close the curtains. You need to not speak to anybody. You need to really almost feel that gloom, that, that real darkness to be able to come out the other end, which is vitally important that you do. And if you're sat there and you're thinking, do you know, actually, somebody's changed or one of my somebody in my family, my one of my loved ones, have really, really changed their... their they seem to be a little bit different. They're not as talkative. They're not as outgoing. If you're finding that there is a change in somebody, nine times out of ten, it is because something is obviously going wrong with them or something is on their mind. Something's troubling them. Something's worrying them. Ask that question. My parents are an absolute blessing. My nan bless her heart who is no longer with me, which breaks my heart daily. They're amazing people in the fact that they know they can preempt. My mum absolutely She's got it down to a T. My nan, exactly the same. My dad, I've got to show, I've got to show a little bit of emotion before he kind of gets it. But he's there. He's right there on it. I'm sure there's somebody there. I'm sure there's somebody there. Perhaps you've missed it. Listen, open your eyes. There's somebody who wants to help. 
Like I said, it's important to have that down there. It's important to have that dark time. And sometimes, and it's awful to say, it makes you appreciate the good or that little bit more. And when you come out the other end, you feel as though you can breathe. You feel as though that house, that weight's been lifted off your chest. You will get there. You will, I promise you. For me, I'm not there at the moment. I'm in the middle of this dark kind of mess, you could call it. And I'm not ready yet. I put a lot of faith and a lot of trust in people to help me develop my career in a real difficult, challenging environment. I work in finance and accountancy. I'm training in this environment to be able to grow and develop. That's what I wanted. I thought I was getting there. I really, really did. Um, by trade, I'm an accountant. And I really wanted to excel my working career. And what somebody promised me was actually... The advantage wasn't for me, it was for somebody else. I was just the accessory to be able to help that other person move. And actually, it's almost like that I've been thrown to the fire now. So, I couldn't tell you right yet how I feel and what to do um, to get back up, up uh, to get back up from something like that. But right now, I'm taking one day as it comes. I'm thinking of all the things I've been blessed in this life. I look at my nan's picture, and although she's not with me, I think of all those wonderful, wonderful years and just that I get to call this incredible lady my nan, whether she's in heaven with the Lord above watching down over me, or when I turn to my mum and I turn to my dad and I get to think, and I get to smile and think, you know what, you're the most incredible people in the world in your mind. Or today, when I get to take the time out today to spend some time with a best friend of mine, my twin brother, to have a real laugh, to have a genuine heart-to-heart -heart talk. No exterior, no sort of fakeness, no having to smile to get through anything. I could be honest and raw. And yeah, all those blessings in this life. So I'm trying to concentrate on those things before I then have to start dealing with all of the stuff which is going on in the background career-wise. But one thing what I do want to just make a note of in this clip saying that at the end of the day, your career, your work, your choices for employment, yes, they're important, but they're not that important because at the end of the day, you being happy mentally, physically well, means more than that. And it means more than any job will be. Or, and you know what, right now, I'm, it's like me trying to preach to myself. But if I can help somebody in their situation as well, because when I felt this, when I, when this happened to me this last week, you know, I thought my world was over. And then actually, when I took time to think about it, I thought, it's a job, Bradley. It's a job. You've done well. You work hard. It's a job. You still get to wake up in the morning. You still get to go again. You still get to be healthy and well. It does put it all into perspective when you turn the TV on and you watch the news or you look online and you see all these horrific things going on. And you think to yourself, actually, do you know what? You are blessed that you get to go again. This is just a rotten rough time, but it makes us stronger. In the back of my mind, I'm telling myself, this will make you stronger, Bradley. You will get there in the end. You'll know you'll be able to learn from this and you will succeed. All of those things come from having a down day, reflecting on that, building on that and rising up from it, which we will. I promise you that. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for sharing this with me. It is a bit of a rubbish time at the moment. It certainly is. But it won't be the last time I go through it, and it certainly isn't the first time I go through one. And I'll be stronger, and I'll be more prepared, hopefully, and a little bit more resilient, and possibly a little bit more stronger next time it comes around to be my turn to go through this. If you're struggling, you're sat there thinking, do you know what, I can relate to what he's going through. My heart goes out to you. Please leave me a question, leave me a comment, whatever down below. I will do my utmost best to come back to you. But remember, there are better days to come. And you will get through this because you are you and you're better than any situation which tests you like that. I hope that helps. Thank you very much indeed for being here. And until next time, I'll see you real soon. God bless. Take great care. Thanks very much. Bye for now.